Probably the most asked question we receive is can I get a sponsorship? Can I get a free set of wheels? Can I have free coilovers? No, that's not how any of this works. The good news is that I'm here to help you out and give you some tips for getting sponsorships with your car and see if it's something that makes sense for you to do. If you didn't know, over at Fitment Industries, we have our very own street team program, which is a great way to start out a sponsorship. It has different tiers where you can earn points that you can use to buy anything available on our website. It's super easy to apply for it. And if you want to be a part of the street team, our website will walk you through the steps. So make sure to check it out. Okay, so that was a shameless plug first tip, but it truly is a great way to start earning some parts for your car if you wanna get into that sort of thing. But let's keep going though. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment down below and ask, we will be replying to all of your stuff. Anyways, sponsorships. I think it's almost every single car enthusiast dream to have their car in a magazine, win a show or an autocross event, or get sponsored. Car parts are expensive as and us as car enthusiasts, we picked one of the goddamn most expensive hobbies there is. I don't know what's wrong with us. If you know, let me know. So if a company is willing to believe in us enough to hook us up with parts for free or even at a discounted price, it's a pretty big deal for you and your car. However, people 90% of the time go into this with the complete wrong mentality. Companies aren't going to give you free parts out of the kindness of their hearts or because they understand things are expensive and you're broke. Nope. I'm sorry, but let's be real about that. They are a business, they have employees, they need to pay them, all that good stuff. They're not going to make it far if they're just handing out free parts to everyone and their buddy with a bolt-on WRX. So chubby orange beer guy, what does it take? Well, I'm glad you asked, rude commenter. Out of thousands and thousands of enthusiasts asking for sponsorships, you need to stand out in a positive light. But more importantly, you need to remember it's not just asking for free parts, it's explaining what can you do for the company you're trying to get sponsored by. If you're not giving them money, you have to be giving them something. One of the best places to start if you're not racing or placing at shows is social media. Let's rip this off like a Band-Aid too. No, I'm not talking about the dude with 80,000 followers that gets 130 likes on a post. Yes, we know you bought your followers and yes, we can see that actual engagement you have with your audience. Get that shit out of here. If you have good enough engagement with your followers, meaning they're liking your posts, they're commenting, you're commenting back in a positive way, and you have some good vibes going on, you're off to a great start already. This goes for any platform too, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and the more you're on, the better. That also doesn't mean the only way to get a sponsorship is to have a billion followers. Yes, more helps, but what really helps is how healthy your relationship is with your followers and the car scene itself. If you're out on Facebook land, ripping apart people, getting into the hobby, or talking about other people's cars, that's just not good. It's not a good look. One, you're an asshole. And two, if you're going for a sponsorship, you're looking to represent a brand. Brands do not want it's obvious enough, but sometimes it just needs to be said. It's important. Go look at what you're posting right now. Is your feed clean? Are you posting consistently? Do you just post pictures of your food and mirror selfies? Or are you posting videos and photos of your car? If you're not active on your socials, that's a big red flag right out of the gate, along with posting random things and not having an overall theme to your account. Guys, we have a ton of inventory. I'm not kidding, like a lot of inventory. We have all the inventory on wheels, tires, and suspension that you could ever want. And the good news is if you don't have the cash right now, we offer as low as 0% APR financing. That way you can get your wheels, tires, or suspension for as low as a cell phone payment every month. Check it out at fitministries.com. All right, so let's say your socials are established, you have a decent following, and you've been putting out some pretty cool content. You're ready to reach out and partner with someone. If you want to make it easy on yourself, go look at some of your favorite brands and see if they have sponsorship offerings or they're looking for people. Believe it or not, some brands do this. They'll have it listed right on their website, looking for sponsorships. They do want people to represent their brand. This is a lot easier to get into a partnership than cold calling, but I would 100% recommend going with a brand you truly believe in and enjoy. If you're getting free parts just to get free parts, it's going to end up hurting you and the brand you're trying to promote. And if you are genuinely interested in the part you're getting, it makes it so much easier to make content around it. Which leads into the next part. 
you got the following, you know what you want, now you need to reach out. Hopefully you found a brand looking to sponsor, but if not, well, that's okay too. But you need to get into this smart. DMing the company on Instagram and saying, how many likes for free wheels, please, is pretty much the worst way you could go about it. And you have no idea how many messages I've even received that are exactly like that. It will be ignored. Get an email to reach out to the company and write a proposal, introduce yourself, let them know what you're interested in, link to your socials, and most importantly, what all this has been leading up to, explain in detail what you can do for this company and why you should represent this brand. Can you do an unboxing video? Can you provide high resolution images? Are you the first to be running this part on your platform and you can reach a new audience for them that they haven't tapped into yet? These things are huge and what they wanna hear. I wouldn't do just one of them either. I'd offer as many of those options as I could. Also, if you don't have examples of partnerships you've done in the past that have been successful and maybe this is your first time doing something like this, just ask for a partial sponsorship, meaning you can get a certain percentage off instead of just getting them for free. You know, you wanna build that relationship a little bit. Build a relationship with the company and who knows, maybe the next time you reach out, you can get something even better or even more money off. Just know that asking for free stuff with nothing in return for the company isn't going to ever lead to a yes and there will be work involved. That's essentially what a sponsorship is. Instead of trading that paper money that you make, you're trading work. Think of it in that sense and I bet you'll see a lot more success with reaching out. Now these are a bunch of helpful tips, but that doesn't guarantee anything. You're asking alongside thousands of other car enthusiasts. Make yourself stand out in a good way and you'll have a lot better chance. Again, a great place to start would be the Fitment Industry Street Team, so make sure you go check that out. And if you're not looking to do all that sponsor work, we will give you a set of air suspension for free. I won't even make you write a proposal. We partnered up with Airlift Performance for the month of February to give you guys a set of three P air suspension. All you have to do is pick up some dope car shirts or a poster. It's that easy. And if that isn't enough with every purchase, we will be making a donation to Hope for the Day, a nonprofit organization that empowers the conversation on proactive suicide prevention and mental health education. We lost one of our very own here at Fitment Industries and Custom Offsets in 2019, so this one means a lot to us. Mental health is extremely important, so even if you can't make a donation, that's perfectly fine, I understand. But why don't you go out on Instagram or TikTok and leave one positive comment on a random person's post of their car so we can get some more positive vibes going around in the car community? I think, I think all of us could use that. But I hope this video helps you guys out on your car build venture. And if you learned anything, it would mean a ton to me if you were able to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.